Well, baby, I'm on it with a bottle of wine and an old jerk road. Are you ready to go if you want to? Okay. Hey, thanks, everybody, for joining us today. Oklahoma's best. Today, we were with Ian. He's from Mooney's Pub and Grill in Norman, Oklahoma. Ian, thanks for joining us. Yeah, nice to be here today. Ian, give us a little background on you. Where'd you grow up? And talk a little bit about your uh, your family and your career. All right. Um, I grew up actually in Florida. I was born in North Florida um, in the country of it, like right in the middle of the state. So we rode horses. We had our um, farms, our gardens, our cattle farms, all that fun stuff. Um, I was there for a good until I was like 23, I believe. And then uh -huh. I joined the military um, and I got moved to Oklahoma. And that's where I've been ever since. Um, I've have two wonderful kids and just I love it out here. I don't think I'm going to leave because I love Oklahoma so much. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. How'd you get involved with Moonies? Um, it's a funny story. I came <laughs> here one night. I believe it was New Year's Eve. I just driving by. I just wanted to get one beer and I walked in and sat down and everybody here was so friendly and welcoming. I felt like I'd been coming here for the last 20 years and I ended up having way too many beers and missed my New Year's party. <laughs> but it was one of those places where I felt like it's like the TV show Cheers, kind of what I felt yeah. like. Everybody knew everybody's name and I felt like they also knew me and I didn't, they didn't know me, but they did. And it was so welcoming and so such a good vibe. I just kept coming back. So and what eventually I got involved with the people here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's, give us the history of the pub. All right. So this place, I believe, going back to 1974 is when it opened up. It once was a steakhouse, a um, really popular steakhouse in the area. And it was the open for about 30 years until they sold to a couple and they turned it into a pub. OK, um, we we kept the steaks. So we have that history um, ever since. So it's been a pub, Mooney's Pub and Grill, and it's just become that staple in the community. Everybody loves it. It's that home away from home. It's I call it the best of oklahoma's best neighborhood bar because everybody knows everybody yes yeah. you'll you'll see your mayor here you'll see your congress people here you'll see your local business people you'll see your friends your family whether you wow. want to see them it's just it's just that place where the bands all hang out um you'll have people here that have been coming here for years you have people that's come through a day it's it's a great it's just such a great diverse group of people it's so much fun Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Three questions that help our listeners kind of get the, get the idea of the pub. First of all is what does it look like when you walk in the door? What are you going to see? Well, we just renovated the whole thing after we took a, after 15 years, it hadn't been renovated. So it's totally new as of last couple of weeks ago. Um, you come in, it's all brick walls, um, custom made tables from a local um, furniture builder. Nice. Uh, we have, it's all clean, new painted. So it's a nice cozy vibe. A lot of people say it feels like it's the place. I had someone tell me yesterday, it feels like when you're having a pot of soup on a rainy day, <laughs> it just feels that cozy, warm, welcoming feeling. And All that's right. what they feel when they come in here. So you have that cozy feel like it just, it just feels good. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. That makes mm -hmm. sense. All right. Now next smell. Somebody walks in the door. What, what's the first thing they're probably going to smell? Um, probably fresh paint, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that's what we just did, but it's fresh paint right now. But um, if it's not that, you're going to smell probably catfish because that's what we cook a lot of. Uh -huh. smell fresh fried catfish coming up. So that's always an awesome smell. All right. All right. Now, environment. What are they going to hear? Walk in the door. They're sitting there. What are they going to hear? You're going to hear a steady buzz of conversation um, at the bar. You're going to find the old timers that are here discussing old war stories their latest bike. They'll be talking about the trucks that are pulling up in the parking lot. Um, if you come at certain times, we have live music. So we have local bands that are playing acoustic nights or we have people on the patio or blues and you'll have, you'll have just a steady buzz of buzz of atmosphere. Everybody's going to be just chatty. And so it's, sure. it's a pretty cool spot. All right. Very good. Talk about your passion. You, you kind of told us your origin of how you got into this, but uh, obviously Bars and pubs, a lot of work, a lot of hours, a lot of dedication. Talk about your passion for that. Um, I think the passion of like why we keep it open and why it's there is just because we're passionate about having fun. We love people. We love seeing everybody here. It's it's just 
we just like that. We like to be the place where people can go and have a good safe time where they can let their hair down, dance a couple jigs, um, eat some awesome food. And I, I just get a pat. I'm just, I feel so excited when people come in or having a good time. I get, yeah. I just, I like that. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it becomes family. It, it really does. It does. Yes, it, yes, it goes through there. For you personally, what is your favorite thing about Mooney's Pub and Grill? I would say my favorite thing is probably Tuesday nights, acoustic nights. Okay. Um, and we have an uh, artist that's pretty popular in the local area. He comes in and plays guitar, and he brings in up-and-coming bands, the um, the leads of them. And they come in, they sing with him, and you never know what you're going to get. Last week, we had a banjo player show up. Week before <laughs> that, we had some fiddle players and some guys and some little box drum. Um, it's just a good time. It's just one of those nights. It's like an unassuming night. You come in, it's unlike the normal bar atmosphere you mm-hmm. come in and it just feels like you're in a coffee shop but you're not you're drinking beer and there's just a really awesome vibe around it and that's i come up here every tuesday night that's the night i off work and i'm here hanging out with the people because we're listening to music and just yeah. talking and it's just an awesome chill night no that's cool that's cool that's cool all right now a couple of fun questions because i am a touring artist and i always just like to survey the country with this and this is just your personal preference, but it does go into my compilation of a survey. Ian, I got to know, what's the best concert you've ever seen in your entire life? Okay, that's that's hard. I've been to a lot. But <laughs> personally, I think my favorite one was a, a Zach Bryan concert I went to last week, last year. Okay. Um, up in Pryor, Oklahoma. And it was me. It was just a combination of being with all my buddies and standing out in a field and having them sing and the crowd energy. And I've been to concerts where Journey's playing and Don't Stop Believing, and everybody knows these words. Right. But it felt like the crowd knew the words. They felt the words. They were hugging each other, high-fiving each other, singing along. It was just one of those super awesome emotional experiences that I just think about it pretty much every day. It was yeah. an amazing concerts. All right. Fair enough. Dead or alive, you get to see one musical act. Who would you see? Oh, gosh. Um I still want to see a Brooks and Dunn. That's my mm. dream. I've always wanted to see him play. Um, I grew up, my grandma listened to them in the car, knew every song, singing with the windows down. Yep. Um, that's probably my go-to. That's my next one I want to see. Okay. No, that that's perfect. That works. Um, Ian, people that are looking to travel, want to come check out Mooney's Pub and Grill. What's the best way for them to find out what's going on? Are you more website or are you more social media? We're social media based. Um, I would say follow our <laughs> Facebook page. It's just Mooney's Pub and Grill. Um, okay. It's We have all of our events on there. We have all of our random posts that are just memes <laughs> or <laughs> right, stuff right. going on. Um, it's the best way to stay in touch. We're all pretty active. If you have questions, we'll answer them. Um, that's the best way to get a hold of us and get information. Very good. Guys, Ian, Mooney's Pub and Grill in Norman, Oklahoma. Thanks for being on with us. I appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate it. Have a good day. Well, baby, I'm on with a bottle of